Now that is better. Hey beautiful people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. Thank you so much again for taking your time stopping by the team brand. If you're new to our channel, of course, do as we do it. Hit that red subscribe button, hit it hard, share our videos out there, like. By liking, you know, uh, people are going to be recommended to this, our video. Uh, thank you so much again for those who support us, I really do appreciate. So guys, uh, two days ago, we talked about uh, the best agencies to use to come to Qatar or on how to come to Qatar with an agency to use like we discussed about several agencies. We have a part one of the video and we did a part two of the video and there was a very huge interaction in both videos and a lot of questions were uh, raised. So still, um, I'm thinking on how to do the part three of the video because people suggested a lot, a lot of other agencies. So visit our videos. I'm going to put link somewhere there so that you can watch those our previous uh, video so today we want to come to Qatar on how to we want to discuss like on how to come to come to Qatar without using those agencies because people don't not all people believe in coming with agency some want to come like without giving anybody that priority or that space to manage is coming here some of people like coming like that so how to come to Qatar without an agency now without an agency to come to Qatar you need to do what we call the I visa or you go and do something like we call like online stuff you go uh, look for your own visa uh, depending what you want maybe it's a business visa maybe it's a, an employment visa maybe it's a a visit visa so those are the kind of things uh, that we want to discuss today so um feel free ask me a question at the end of the videos remember to comment down with a lot of questions ask me by raising question wrong you know we are going to answer a lot of a lot of things that people really don't know so let's begin our video today uh, so uh, to get the visa like without using agency there are two things you can do visit online that is the Qatar visa center online or something we call the i visa you're going to get your visa in those two portals but for now you're going to get us something like that on your screen because they don't offer visa currently because of the ongoing pandemic but I've heard that uh, they are offering in a way that I don't know how but if you go to the visa uh, websites they are not offering the visas so how are you going to get the, this visa it will depend on the country you're coming from people coming from Europe from other countries all the mentioned countries you're going to see them when you go to these uh, portals they get a visa on arrival so it depends uh, fully the country you're coming from people from Europe America um, this is uh, India I think also are uh, people from um, all these other countries you know that they have mentioned there they get visa on arrival like you reach the airport you get your visa there uh, people from Africa like us people from um, I think uh, Philippines people from these other countries that they have mentioned there also they get their visa through application so you have to apply and it takes a maximum of 15 working days it may take more but the minimum is 15 working days that is what uh, uh, normally it does and it may take more maybe a month or so so expect anything so what do you need to get an employment visa or to apply for an employment visa if you're applying on that portal you need an employment contract now you have to already get a job or secure a job here so that is a lot of things because a person has to or you have to communicate with a company to get you an employment contract a duly completed application form from the Ministry of Labor then you need a medical certificate proving the employee is a good is of good health you yourself you need a medical certificate to prove that you're of good health you need a copy of the employee's passport this that is you now you need a copy of your passport if somebody is doing it for you but if like you're doing it for yourself you need a copy of your passport and you need a, 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 a two a, a passport copies that the the fat passport uh, photography photo, or photographs i can call it like that and any relevant educational certificate you need it also so that the things that you need for an employment a visa for visit visa or if you want to visit maybe for some few months or something mo mostly it's only three months you're you're also going to need a uh 
your passport of course your two uh, photography and an air ticket for example if you're using qatar airways you, you must have an air ticket for you to start applying this actually you can do it in a in a qatar airways you just go on manage booking then you're going to get a visit visa or any other visa that you may need that is there so this visa this visit visa it takes only three months at most i think three months if i'm not uh, really uh wrong again we have something called the e-visa what is e-visa somebody may ask me that question like what is an e-visa an e-visa is the qatar e-visa is an electronic visa that was implemented in 2017 it uh, it can be acquired via online application it functions at the qatar tourism visa and the holder of this uh, e-visa in the gulf state it has to be like is a maximum of 30 days with an e-visa you can stay in the maximum of 30 days and who is eligible for this e-visa a lot a lot of african countries you can get this e-visa that only takes 30 days that is the bad thing of it it takes only 30 days like you have, you have to be in the country for only 30 days and unfortunately you may not get a job with this particular visa visit visa and these other e-visas you may not get a job because it's 30 days and another one that takes almost three months but you cannot you may not acquire a job unless you know how you're going to deal with yourself but i believe that you may was it patakazi nice stuff let me just be honest with you because each time you go to employ employees or these people want to employ people one thing they ask you the type of visa that you have they're going to check in for example if you have been working for a company they can transfer you with an noc noc because of course uh, they abolish the noc stuff they can transfer you with this method or the mo modern law or they may ask you you have a freelancer visa this is a visa that maybe you have an id and you're allowed to work any job so those are the things visit visa unfortunately you may not or if you have this visit visa you go there you look for a car job like you have the job you have a ready job no no you have a ready job you're going to exit because nowadays i think they don't even need the exit permit you're going to exit for example for example you exit for example metro kenya sasa you have this uh, maybe a visit visa or tourism uh, e visa for only 30 days within 30 days you have a job like you have secured a job umekujenga of a letter so what you will need to do you'll contact or you talk with the company and be like okay let me just exit to maybe oman or niende kuwait or niende i exit to a neighbor mostly what we have qatar with the exit to oman i exit to oman maybe for two days we need to be a visa then we pate no no visa now they have sent you a visa or a working visa then you're going to come with that visa to the country and they will change your id or they change the sponsorship and change all those things that they may need to change so be assured that you can apply from kenya a tourist visa or something we call an e-visa only takes 30 days where's the pata kazi you know what we could tour around to check around the place and everything like that uh, so I believe we have answered a lot of questions. So to brief you guys uh, to get this uh, online visa or e-visas Mostly it's the kind of people maybe want to come and tamak here like look for a job People don't want to follow the procedure of going through agencies. See, remember agency is expensive They really charge high some of them. They charge up to maybe 200,000, 150,000 Kenyan shillings 100,000 Kenyan shillings people try to avoid this and go uh, online looking for their own visa so it's mostly cheaper way and uh, hard way when it comes to coming and looking for a job remember like you yourself you go to that foreign country to hustle for a job to time to time for some time remember for you to come and time also you need to be like let me just advise you on this because you need some of the things you need to know when you come here like the the, the the housing maybe you want to rent somewhere it's not that expensive there is something people do for example Kenya, then you have a friend maybe will uh, look for you for a house no no when she can like if a house is a thousand rent for houses a thousand real or five people you see so you're going to divide this a thousand in like one two hundred hectare real no no maybe your five people you divide this a thousand real i'm a camera rent me 500 you see it's really coming way out cheap when you're going to join these people uh, is my bed space something we call bed space now but like the, it's cheaper now it's becoming cheaper because what are outside here and also food is not that much expensive it's really affordable chakula see expensive who is not really very expensive it's affordable in no matter what you eat actually it really matters on what, what you eat but to generalize it food is expensive then um if you come here again if you work hard you may not miss a job chances that who miss job maybe i can say like they are very minimal 
give you work hard, drop your CVs everywhere. Now, see, chagwe kazi. That is the real trick of coming and staying in Qatar. Usi chagwe kazi. Just do any job that you can get, unless you have the qualification. Feel like no. People have qualification. You are getting a doctor. They are doing maybe hotel jobs, customer service. When you work on a, it matters or no what you want and what brought you to that particular country you're going to. Anyway, I believe you have discussed a lot, but to know for you to apply the e-visa, you have to have a booked air ticket. That is it, a shortcut. You have to have a booked air ticket. But for now, you're going to get something like that because they don't offer any visa online. Unless you do other ways, I don't know, but for their portals that I've discussed today, they don't really offer visa now because of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Anyway, guys, thank you again for stopping by to the Team Brian. Hit that red subscribe button. Hit it hard again. Join our community, the Team Brian. If possible, share our videos. Watch the two videos I did. That is um, on how to get uh, agencies or the best agencies to use to come to Qatar. And I'm really going to appreciate If possible, you can share them, like them, comment down in the comment section. Say something and I'm really going to appreciate See you again in our next video. Thank you, guys.